Guys, I'm just documenting this is day, what, I guess two or three of this fight. I forgot about the stupid deer leg and I let them out. Thankfully I had training treats so that was good so they didn't pick it up immediately. But they've switched places so when they first got it, Zuri, the one with the collar, she had it and she was growling to keep Zelly from whatever taking it so Zelly kind of left her alone for a while and I gave Zelly extra treats and then somehow um oh I think Zelly laid down next to her while I was doing the water in the pen you know you have to change your their water you rinse stuff down well Somehow Zelly ended up with the bone and now she is growling to guard it. And I was not able by myself to get them both inside because apparently this is a more high value treat than anything that I have. Although Zuri, since she's not in possession of the bone, she was definitely um, up for coming and taking treats, but that doesn't really help me with Zelly. So, Obviously, this is not okay. I'm probably going to have to get brave and take it away from her by hand and trust that it will be okay. But I'm honestly a little bit scared to do that. If my husband or my dad was here, they wouldn't do it. So I should probably just man up, huh? But like that growl that they give, that's their growl, like, that's their communicating, I mean business, this is mine right now. And it's very rare for them to growl. So this is like out of character. And this is how they're challenging without getting like teeth and claws in it. They'll just like, if you look at the video that just went up like a while before this one, they'll like stand really close to each other and like stand still like I'm here and I'm not giving up and I want it. You see? Like if I could just get them moved into the pen, they could take their stupid turns with this stupid leg. But the problem is the one who has it is not wearing a collar. And since I'm fairly confident they're not actually going to hurt each other, stop it. Zuri. Um, they're just kind of in a standoff. I figured I'd get it on recording because I know, um, I'm sure there's people that would like to hear what a mastiff growl and guarding sounds like. But this is not behavior that you want to encourage, but isn't that cute? <laughs> so it's like tapping her with her paw, like, please, I want to turn. Isn't Zuri being so good and sharing? All right, Zuri, I'm going to get you a treat. Would you like a treat? I'm gonna get you a treat from the garage because you're being so nice and sharing. Zuri. So like the challenge really is to get them both in there and probably neither one of them are wanna get, gonna wanna go as long as they're thinking about the stupid bone. And this is why I always buy two bones, but this one I didn't buy, it was scavenged. Would Zuri like to have it? Would Zuri like a treat? No, 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 no. Girls, knock it off. It's just a leg. You guys, knock it off. If you come here, you can have treats. Come on. You want treats? Where's my Zuri girl? 
Arthur, I wanted a treat. Thank you for being polite. Would you like a treat? Come on, Deli. Come on, you want a treat? Oopsie, almost dropped my phone. Zuri girl would like a treat. Thank you for being polite and sharing. Thank you for sharing. I know you found it, but thank you for sharing. Down. <laughs> Down. Must have made the mis one of us must have made the mistake of teaching her how to shake earlier when she was little because now it's kind of painful when those big claws go trying to give you a paw. Sorry, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. I don't want you guys to get hurt. Maybe Zuri could take some special time with me. Yes, or the last time what I did was I went and got treats from the house and it was actually the other dog, it was Zelly. No, wait, I'm wrong. Zelly, um, yeah. She, see, she eventually got bored. Or maybe not bored, but like the pressure wasn't on right there. So she was coming to see <laughs> what was up, like if she could get treats or whatever. So, but you can see they kind of still carry the tension. Like what? Am Anybody that wants treats, you can be polite and be kind. I have treats. Zuri, I have treats. Would you like treats? It's a treat? It's a treat, Zuri. Zuri, knock it off. Obviously you're mad. Okay, all right. Good girl, Zuri, sit, sit, sit. Stop! All right, I gotta get into training mode instead of exhibition mode. But I hope you guys appreciated that. I let it go on for a little bit so you could see what it sounds like when they're growling and guarding, mastiffs fighting. Um, and sort of as they grow up, they'll have probably some tips, especially around the time when they're in heat. And so it's not something you really want to encourage, but they do kind of eventually sort things out. And it's been that this one has been kind of dominant, although this one has a personality. But she would kind of back off, but apparently she just really wanted it this time. So the problem is I'm not entirely sure how to get them in their pen. Because that's like right next to the door. So I guess I might just hang out out here for a while and give them time to like get bored or something. I don't know. I'm going to cut this off and try to figure something out. 